Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I want to talk about some other uh, canvas. So I'll review some other stretch canvas uh, brands that I've used. So I've used quite a few. In my last video, I talked about um, specifically Artist Loft, uh, which is from Michaels, because that's the one I tend to use a lot, just because they always have it on sale. The store is literally like 10 minutes away from me. And, you know, I can buy a bunch at once, especially when they go on sale for 70% off. So I can go buy a bunch and then come home and, you know, you know, pretty much ruin them. Okay, so uh, let's talk about some of these other brands. First off is Arteza. So Arteza is a huge brand you can get on Amazon. Um, I don't know where else you can get them. I don't know if they have their own website or a store or something. Uh, but Arteza is a huge brand. And, um, you know, they've got paint and they've got the canvas, they've got, you know, gloss and all that other stuff. So, you know, again, a paint supply or artist supply kind of thing. Anyway, I have used their canvas a little bit, not a whole lot um, back in the day. So essentially my impression of artist Arteza is that it works, but it's not the best. And so I would say it's probably better than like the cheaper stuff that you can get out there. Um, and it's, it probably would work for whatever you're doing. So even if you're, you know, if you're a student, if you're a professional, Arteza will work and their stuff is, again, it's probably not my, I wouldn't say it's the best, but for what you get, it's pretty decent. Okay. I don't have any on me, so I can't really show you the difference. Um, just cause it's, again, it's been a while. Next, um, is the, well, Let's talk about Blick, okay? So Blick is uh, an art store that I've talked about before, and they have their own line of products. Well, Blick's products are actually really good, and I really like them. Um, so Blick itself, there's like a store like an hour away from me, and anytime I go there, I usually end up buying their stuff because I, I really like it. it. I don't, again, I don't know if it's private labeled or if they make it themselves, but it's a it's a good product and they have different grades kind of like michael's you know the student and then kind of professional and then you know ultra professional whatever i don't know but my point is is that their products are actually really good for the prices you get and i think that you find that a lot with the companies who have their own line of products because you know they can kind of bring that cost down because it's their product so i do like blix products um they're especially kind of their more professional ones their level two and three are actually just good like so i really do like them and i try to support them when i can um if you want to check out their line of products then check out the uh the links in the description area below there's a link to amazon and there's a link to blick as well both of those are affiliate links that if you buy anything through those links it actually helps me and supports the channel so i can keep painting for you guys and talking about art stuff. Now, there's a, there's a reason I kind of made this video. Um, besides talking about Artist Loft and how I use them all the time, and then talking about um, Blix line and the uh, Arteza, is because there's a, there's one that I specifically want to talk about that I had a bad experience with. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to that. Now, the next one I want to cover is Windsor Newton. Windsor Newton is actually really good. Their, their quality is pretty good. You're gonna pay more okay so i'm gonna tell you this right now that the price that you pay for windsor newton is going to be more than you pay for anything else my thoughts on this is that while the product is good okay it is good i i've looked at their canvas i've used it i've bought it um it is higher quality canvas okay there's nothing i have literally had no complaints with the canvas i bought i didn't buy a lot but all the ones i got i had no issues no they weren't warped the uh the gesso was pretty smooth um you know they have the beveled edges they have all that stuff and if you haven't watched my video um uh, before this i talk about some of the things to look at in a canvas but i'm going to come back to that okay so uh windsor newton had no issues with that product great product but of course it's more expensive than everything else so my thoughts on this is that if you have the money, go ahead and invest it in great supplies, especially if you have a technique that you follow all the time, you're kind of a master of that technique, and you know that you're going to make that canvas turn out good, uh, or your painting turn out good, so it's not going to go to waste, invest in the Windsor Newton canvas because it's a great quality product. My, But if you are still learning, if you're still... 
uh, kind of developing your technique or trying different things, don't go out and buy these really expensive canvas just to waste them or to, you know, to mess up the painting because you don't have it mastered. You know, and I don't say that in a mean way, but if you're learning a new technique or if you're still, you know, trying to develop or master a technique, then investing a lot of money in that kind of canvas is probably not smart because then you're going to waste a large canvas and then it's you're not going to be able to sell it or whatever. So then you just spent a lot of money on good stuff that it didn't really matter in the end. Um, so my advice for that would be go ahead and invest in some cheaper canvas. It's okay if it's not great quality, if you're still kind of learning uh, techniques or you're practicing and stuff like that, just buy some value canvas. It's okay. It, it's going to be okay if you buy some value canvas either from Amazon or a local craft store or whatever it is, art supply store. It doesn't really matter if you're still learning the technique, then just buy some, some cheaper canvas to learn it. And then once you get to the point where you're really good and you start selling them, then you can kind of move into these higher brand um, products because then you could say made with premium products. You know, if you're using premium paint and you're putting on a premium canvas, you can say, I use premium products and you can charge more. But I would say kind of step up to that. So what I would say is learn with those, go ahead and buy some cheap canvas to kind of learn your techniques and then move into, you know, kind of step ladder up. And as you start selling, as you start mastering your technique, then kind of move into that. So again, coming back, um, Blick, I like it for its price. Um, uh, Arteza, um, it, you get what you pay for. Um, not the best, but not the worst. Uh, and then for Windsor Newton, great product, costs more. Uh, obviously, like I said in my last video, I tend to use Artist Loft just because it's readily available to me. So that's normally what I use, but I have bought stuff online and through Amazon. And now we come to the one canvas that I was hoping would be worth it and it, it just kind of disappointed me. And that is Edge. So there's a canvas brand. I found it through Jerry's Artorama, but you can buy them through Amazon and the brand is called Edge, all right? The canvas is cheap for the price, and the reason I even bought this brand of canvas is because I wanted bigger sizes, like not big square, but long, narrow. So I wanted rectangular canvas, and I'm gonna show you one. Um, so I bought these canvas from Edge, and I, you know, they were a good price. So I was like, okay, cool, great. I bought them, and I, I just had nothing but issues with them. Okay, so you, I'm just going to say you get what you pay for and reiterate that with you, okay? Here is a canvas um, from Edge, okay? This painting is on an Edge canvas. This is like 20 inches by 60 inches, so like less than 2 feet by 5 feet. Um, I just, okay, first off, I bought two different sizes, so I'm going to show you this. You've probably seen this this big painting right here. Um, it's the Phoenix one. But basically, this is Edge as well, and the issue that I have with this one is the same as this one. So right here, you can see um, that it's very thin. The wood, are, so let's just kind of dive into it. The first part is that the wood is very thin, and it's not kiln dried. You can tell. So these canvases warped, okay? Second. There is no slot for a canvas key on this one or on this one. So you can't even fix the canvas if it's sagging. Next, the the actual gesso, like on the, like the canvas itself, the canvas feels fine, but the gesso on it's very thin. Um, and I actually had issues with it, like not even being gessoed all the way in the corner um, and being kind of worn out. So it's like just not... <laughs> not good at all and then when i got these this canvas right here because i got two separate packages okay so i got these big really big ones three foot by six foot and the smaller ones the 20 by 60 uh the 20 by 60 pack when i got it um the package was like damaged on the side like so obviously that's not necessarily edges fault or whoever shipped it uh, maybe I, it might have been jerry's artorama through um through Amazon, I really don't know. But like the package was like almost destroyed, which maybe they can't help. That's fine. Okay, I won't count that one on them. However, what I will count against them is that 
the gesso is very thin, um, that every single one of these canvas that I got from them warped, every one of them. Uh, and then there's no can, there's no corner pieces for the canvas, like to, to put in canvas keys. So you literally can't even fix the tightness of the canvas itself because there's no place for canvas keys. Um, and then the wood is just very, very cheap. So they're super light. And I was like, oh, they're really light. Yeah, because they warp and they're not solidly built. So ultimately, I cannot recommend them. And I'm not bashing them. I just, that happened with both sets of the canvas I got, the small ones and the large ones. So Edge <laughs> is not uh, one that I'm going to recommend to you even if you, not even for learning. I just, I, I just did not have good experience with either one of these. I literally had to give pretty much all the paintings that I made on these away because I couldn't sell. Like they warped so much that the bottom corner of one of them was like probably two inches off the wall. Like it was that, that ridiculous. Um, and I couldn't even fix it with canvas keys. So yes, I could, you know, put the command strips, like I've talked about in another video, put the cam command strips and kind of keep it there. But it's like, it would have, it, the canvas was just so warped, it didn't even matter, right? So ultimately, I would not recommend that brand. And I'm, that's just my experience. Maybe you'll have a different one. I don't know, whatever. Um, and pretty much that's it. I think there's one other one I tried and it was like US art or something. I don't, I don't remember. But I don't really remember like my experience with that. I think they were on the cheaper side. So, um, Ultimately, if you haven't watched my other video, I'm just gonna show you a couple of things to look for when you're buying canvas. So ultimately what I would recommend is either Blick, um, Arteza, if you're kind of just trying to get a bunch of canvas for cheap. Uh, there's like, like I said, there's one called like US Supply or US Art Supply or something. It's something on Amazon. You can use the link to go to Amazon and check, but it's something like that. I don't remember that. They're the cheaper ones. Um, I use Artist Loft because um, I like their higher quality stuff and it's easier for me to get and uh, do not recommend Edge. All right, so um, let me show you a couple of things to kind of look for when you're looking at Canvas to, you know, for you to decide because it's like there's so many brands out there. You can really just use whoever you want. You want to just use whatever you're, you're kind of going for. If you're just learning, just buy a bunch of cheap value canvas and learn on them. It doesn't really matter. But if you're looking to sell them, just you got to keep your buyer in mind. Like you can buy cheap quality canvas, sure. But is it going to warp in the future? Or is it going to sag? Or is it going to, uh, you know, is it going to be lopsided because the wood wasn't good? You know what I mean? Or is it really thin gesso? Just some things to think about. So a couple of things to look at. First off, um, what you want to look at is make sure that it has a beveled edge. Pretty much even these cheap edge canvases that I had a bad experience with, they had a beveled edge. Most canvas have a beveled edge under there so that the canvas doesn't rest on the edges. So that's pretty common. Like you probably don't have to worry about that much. However, I have seen canvas that were just flat across. And what I'm talking about is there's a gap under here. Um, so the edge is raised, but the wood under here is, is beveled under so that the canvas doesn't rest on this whole frame. And that is so that to prevent ghosting, where if it sags a little bit, it's not resting on that wood to impress that square line into the canvas. And yes, I've had it happen. So that's one thing. The second thing to look at is, you know, is it already gessoed and how many layers? So it doesn't really matter how many layers if you're going to cover the whole thing up with paint anyway. But... It, the more gessoed it is, the better that the paint will adhere to it. Um, and it just gives it a smooth surface. Now, you could just kind of go over the painting with paste or you could just re-gesso it yourself. So that's not a huge deal. Just something to think about. Um, if it's got more primer coats on it, it's going to be a smoother surface. So it just makes it a little easier to work with. Again, not, a, not an issue for most people. Uh, an important thing to look for is this thing, these slots right here. So these these little slots for canvas keys. And that these edge painting or these edge canvas didn't have that. And I had uh, this one that I just bought from some guy that made canvas. It's just a wooden frame. So this actually is flat. So there's no bevel there. So this will probably eventually ghost where 
this will this painting will sink in and you'll see the frame under it because it doesn't have a beveled edge but also it has no room for canvas keys so i can't even straighten the canvas out or tighten it um, because there's no canvas keys so you want to make sure that your canvas has canvas key slots okay don't buy canvas that doesn't have that because you can't fix it or your customer can't fix it in the future if it starts to sag um, and normally they won't but you want to have the ability to fix it if possible. Um, and then lastly is just the construction of it, the wood. So some of them have, some paintings have, okay, talked about this in my other video, and I'm going to show you the difference here. So some canvas have straight stretcher bars, and then some of them have, oh, that one doesn't even have it. Um, some of them have like corner braces, so I think I put them all away. Let me see if this one has it. Okay, so some of them have corner braces. Some of them have straight braces. Ultimately, that doesn't necessarily matter, um, but you want it to have um, some of them, right? You want it to have that, unless it's a really small canvas. Um, but that also is kind of, that kind of plays into it. But the biggest thing is, is the wood quality. So it doesn't really matter if it has a straight brace or a corner brace. Uh, the wood quality is the biggest part. So if it says like it's kiln dried, that is good. But like these edge canvas, I'm pretty sure they weren't kiln dried. It looks like they just went to Home Depot and, and made these in their spare time. So kiln dried is really good, um, but also the construction of it. If you just look at the back and it looks like smooth and it looks solid, that's the biggest thing. I mean, you really don't want the canvas to warp. The last thing I would talk about is the thickness of the canvas. And I talked about this in my Artist Loft video. Thickness is totally your preference. What I tend to do is, because the, the main two sizes is three quarter inch, you know, if you're here in the US or use inches, it's three quarter inch or like 0.8, centimeters or something like that or I, I don't I don't know how that works eight centimeters whatever anyway three quarters inch um and one and a half inch now there's also two inch that's a very thick painting but most canvas is going to come either three quarter inch or one and a half inch um the preference is totally up to you and if the canvas is really high quality even a thin canvas at a large size won't really warp if it's high quality but if you buy cheaper canvas and get bigger ones they have a tendency to warp so what i tend to do is usually like three feet or under three feet i usually will do three quarter inch um, but pretty much from three foot on i will do uh, one and a half inches because having that thicker wood it's less likely to warp. still has the chance to but it's less likely to and that's why you'll see these three paintings right here exemplify that this small one right here is three quarter inch. It's a thinner uh, canvas. This bigger one up here is a three foot by three foot and it's on a one and a half inch. And then this one also is one and a half inch. So that's my personal preference. Uh, under three foot, it's usually, uh, you know, three foot or under three foot is usually three quarter. And then going up from there is one and a half inch. So that one, it looks more professional, but two, it's just less likely to warp. So. That's kind of my reasoning. But ultimately, your decision. Um, that's kind of my thoughts on some of these. Um, if you have a question about some other brands, you can leave the questions in the comment section below. I haven't tried every brand, so I can't honestly give you a response about it. But ultimately, what I would say is just look at some of the things that I told you about. And just know this last thing is that you get what you pay for. When I bought these Edge ones, they weren't good. Um, when I bought, you know, student grade quality canvas i got what i paid for you know they warped or you know the gesso wasn't good or they sagged whatever so you get what you pay for and if you're still learning or practicing just go ahead and buy just a bunch of cheap canvas it's okay that's okay to learn on but if you're going to make paintings to sell you probably want to invest in a little bit higher quality you don't necessarily have to go like windsor newton or some of these other ones that are like a hundred dollars for one medium size canvas you probably don't have to go that crazy um but i mean it's totally up to you just take some of the advice i gave you into account when you look 
Um, and like I said, I generally will use Michaels locally, or if I'm going online, it's Blick or Amazon. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you, uh, if you plan on buying online, please feel free to use the links in the description area below. Again, helps the channel, helps me uh, buy more supplies, and it's no extra cost to you. Um, but if not, that's totally fine too. So I hope you found this valuable, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, God bless, stay safe, and uh, yeah, see you then. Bye, guys.